even if it's a date, I think it's 50-50. You don't expect the guy to pay for everything. That's not fair. If you don't have it, don't say you have it or try to show you have it when you know you're having a hard time. Like, man, my pressure on Chosa. I'll be 16. Uh, yes. I'm gonna be yeah, like this. Yeah. So if you touch my feet, oh, I go tell mommy. Hey! Money right. Dean! Hey! <laughs> Today we have one beautiful girl here. I know most of you watch my channel. You've come across her. You fell in love with her. You demanded her on this channel. <laughs> and today she's here. Sarafina, welcome. Yes, thank you. Thank you. How so are you much. doing? I'm doing good. I'm glad you honored my invitation. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> they love you. <laughs> I love, they love them you. Too. They love you. Okay. You see, when we had a video, you said something that people fell in love with. So we want to break it down. Okay. Yeah, that's what we do on this channel. Okay. So this seat is called the hot seat. Okay. It's very hot. It's very hot. Are you feeling it? I am. <laughs> <laughs> Pressure. <laughs> Okay, so let me let, let's just go straight into it. Let me ask you, how long have you been in Ghana? Oh, we came to Ghana, it's now three weeks. Yes. Three weeks, yes. Are you a Ghanaian? I, I am. I, I, I let me, um, <laughs> let me clarify this. I love Ghana, I am Ghanaian. I was born in Ghana, I left when I was very young, but I am Ghanaian. Yes, I am. I just but I live in America. No, I don't. Oh, okay. I've, I just came back 12 years ago. Yeah, it's been 12 years since I've been back. Okay. Yeah. We are happy to receive you. Thank how, you. How do you see Ghana? Ghana is a beautiful place. We have beautiful people. We have beautiful communities. There's things we need to work on, work on but like it's very beautiful so far. No worry, yeah. we'll work on them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me ask you. In the video, you said um, ladies shouldn't look at the materialistic part of the guy mm -hmm. or shouldn't go for material things right. before they date a guy or something. Right. You personally, what do you look for in a guy before you date the person? Um, I want to get to know you first. I want to be friends with you. I want to see how you handle yourself in a situation. Um, personality means a lot to me. Um, I want to know, are you a nice person? Do you treat people nice? Are you, are you trying to act funny? Something like that. Like so, funny guys. Eh? Yeah, like... I'm funny. <laughs> <laughs> Can make you laugh. Can make people laugh on this channel. It's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Laughter is good for this. Too. Yeah, it is. It is. So that's what you look for in a guy. Personality, definitely. Yes. Okay. That's one okay. of them. But, you know, you like comfort. Everybody wants to be comfortable. Of life. course. So, we have guys who have money. Mm -hmm. Guys who have cars, guys who have houses, and there are ladies out there who have like who wish they had like your structure, your stature, to get guys to come to them and give them money, cars, and everything. Why do you choose not to be a gold digger? Um, that's the problem. You don't go into a relationship with the mindset that you're gonna get something from somebody materialistically. I think that's where most people go wrong. Like, if I was to go into a relationship, I'm not gonna say I want a car or a house from this guy, no. Um, I wanna get to know you, because I bet you have your own business, your own problems, family problems or whatever, so I'm not going and expecting anything from it. If it comes, fine, but that's not like a requirement for me per se. Okay. Are you saying this because you're a rich girl? You already have oh, no, 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 no. not rich. I'm not sure. Maybe someone oh. say if you were not rich, he's not sure you you would be saying what you are saying. Oh right no, now. definitely not. Oh, I didn't start out like this. Trust me, I did not. Um, I just feel like if you always have an agenda with the relationship, it doesn't end right. Um, even even it goes both ways a guy can't come to me because they think I have this and that or I'm gonna sponsor them no because once you make that expectation you've already degraded yourself so I feel like you have to be open-minded give somebody a chance wholeheartedly if you're gonna do something do it with all your heart don't go saying I want something from you you've already lost if you think like that in my opinion Everybody's uh, different. <laughs> we've not gotten anywhere, but I'm sure people are falling in love with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me ask you. You've been in Ghana, mm -hmm. and Ghanaian guys have been seeing the mentality of Ghanaian girls and those outside like you are different. Since you came, you've met Ghanaian girls. How do you see them? That's a when very it comes good to the question. relationship aspect. That's a very... I recently went out with some friends, and... Um, 
I, for me, it's different. Um, when we go out, they expect the guy to pay for everything. And I don't think that... Your friend. I don't... I'm not trying. Let me just okay. rephrase myself. I, everybody's different, but that's not how I see things. Like, if we go out, like, if it's not a date, like, even if it's a date, I think it's 50-50. You don't expect the guy to pay for everything. That's not fair. Probably the guy has something going on. Probably he doesn't have it. Like, there's so many unnecessary pressure on somebody just to go out and eat. Like, they don't even offer, oh, do you need help? Should I pay? They don't offer, like, do you have it? Or, like, I don't think that's fair. And they just want the guy to do everything for them and i'm like eh, unless you're my husband i don't require that no i don't expect so if that your husband, I want you to be doing everything no even that i think even that more like if i'm in a relationship where he's my husband like i definitely want like a 40 60 relationship where like i'm the 40 he's the 60 mm -hmm. but when it comes to financially know. oh he, like he lost a job or something like i definitely got it you don't have to worry about till he finds the next one like mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's okay. my opinion. And how do you see the Ghanaian guys too? Because they've been complaining about the girls, and now they also <laughs> have a problem. So what do you, what do you think is wrong with Ghanaian guys? Oh, um, I think Ghanaian guys are. Um, I've met some very very good men so far. I've been here. Um, I think they need to know how to talk to the girls and be straight for it. If you don't have it, don't say you have it or try to show you have it when you know you're having a hard time. Like. Man, my pressure on chill, sir. Ah, like, <laughs> <laughs> man, my pressure on chill, like. Ah, yeah, that's good, Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. like. Um, and you make me practice my English. <laughs> oh, man, are you no fun? So, should we switch to three or Oh, you'll be very disappointed, please. Uh, what you want? You want? Like, the way you just switch, though, like, you sounded like. Oh, I'm, an I'm a proud Ghanaian. I'm a proud. Um. Mm, mm, mm. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm I my parents yeah, are, yeah. No, I'm away. Away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. I thought you said that. You said no. Unwaga. No, I'm see. Ah, I'm Unwaga. I'm Unwaga. I said Unwaga. Unwaga. See, you'll be very disappointed. But we have two. One in the Ashanti region. One in the Volta. I Volta region. Yes. Yes. That's nice. That's nice. So let me come to this. Mm. Let's get personal habits. Do you have a boyfriend? I do. You do? I do. I'm sure some people are disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Did you propose to him or he proposed to you? Oh, yeah, he no. Did. Yeah, definitely. But let me ask you this. Yes. If you're in love with a guy, you mm -hmm. guys are friends and you love him, but he's not telling you uh, or he's not proposing to you for you guys to date and you feel like, no, you guys should date. Can you propose to the guy? Can you propose to a guy? It depends if you're on the same chapter in the same book. Yeah, yeah, you're on the same chapter. He loves you, you love him, and you know, he also knows, but he's scared to say it. Can he's scared say it? to say it. Can if say he's scared, it's a different... For me, personally, I think I would, but um, it's psychology 101. I feel like when a girl chases a guy, a guy loses that urge to of chase mm -hmm. and so it doesn't really work in my opinion like when a girl pursues a guy um too much the guy starts to either the guy think about the scenario whenever a guy a girl likes a guy more the guy always feels like my pet will be for for us something like that <laughs> like it's it's psychology one-on-one -on -one. so i think for me personally it's not something i would do um, but to each his own. <laughs> if he's also not going to say, what are you going to do? I think that he has to... He has to say. Uh, not has to say, but he has to try to man up to say. Because if this is the woman you love, and you see yourself building a relationship with her, then I think you have to have the courage enough to say that, I like you and I want to take you out and get to know you. Okay. And it, the worst that could happen is she'll say no. And look, there's always somebody out there for everybody. So when she says no, she move on. Um, I mean, she it's her loss because I bet the guy is a great person, so it's her loss. So there's somebody always better gonna come along. Guys, right. yeah. <laughs> if she bounces you, move on. <laughs> the meat for the soup is I don't be one. Okay, but does it make you cheap? Ghanaian girls have been saying I'll never propose because it makes me cheap or you'll say I'm cheap. Does it make you cheap? 
Um, I don't think that's the mindset you have to have. No, I don't think, no, that's not. I mean, if you feel like you really like the guy and you want to go for it, hey, go for it. But for me, that, I'm speaking from my perspective. It's not something I would do, but it doesn't mean you're cheap or anything. No, I think you're confident. I think you're confident. Okay. That's a good thing. Okay, so you have a boyfriend. They are disappointed. <laughs> Can you give us some American girls when you go back? Sure. Yeah, we got more American girls on the channel so that we we'll DM them. Do you know when I posted your video, I checked I know. your Instagram <laughs> followers. I think you have 400 and something. The thing is that um, I don't really like social media like that. Mm -hmm. I like to follow people I know. And um, I, I'm trying... I'm not a person who want to get famous or anything. Definitely mm. not. I like like my quiet little space. That's the type. So, I, yeah. So I like know. Four hundred and I checked this morning. Yeah. Was it eight hundred or nine hundred? No. The funny thing is that I had friend requests, um, but I, I I have a lot of friend requests, but I just never accepted. But this this past two days, I've had like a lot of friend requests. And I was like, oh my god, you know what? Let me just follow. Yeah, from my channel. Really? Because yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. Yeah, and I was it like. Just blew. Yeah. Yeah, you boys know the force. So <laughs> I've been on this channel giving you girls for like 10 months. You follow the, they don't follow me on Instagram. Oh, really? I put my Instagram <laughs> on the screen. They never follow. Really? But when I bring a girl and I tell them to go and follow the girl or something. That's Let's it. Let's say the girl has one kid today. Mm -hmm. Less than 24 hours, she will have two kids. Wow. Okay, what did I do? Where did I it's go okay, wrong? It's okay. It's okay. Charlie, my Instagram did a screen tough. <laughs> Okay, so let's. We are about to wrap up. No problem. We're about to wrap up. So, what do you have to say to Ghanaian ladies who are good? They get some, not all of them. Not all. We have good Ghanaian girls. Oh, yes, here. definitely. But those who are good, they get those who look at the guys' properties and things before they give in. What do you have to say to them? Work for yourself. You have nothing to lose. Like, I feel like. Let me try to rephrase that because I know things are hard in Ghana. Being yeah. in Ghana, things are hard. So I really rec like commend you guys like doing a great job. But if you're in that mindset that you're going to try your best to get a guy because of what he has, then you're not going to find love that way. I don't think so. that's even the right thing to do. Like try to get your own. Once you there's nothing prouder than saying I with God's grace, I made it on my own. Like, I didn't use, I didn't backstab, or I didn't have to take somebody's heart and money to buy this for myself. Like, I feel like you should work on yourself and try to get it on your own. And if the person doesn't have it, don't try to pressure them to go get it. God will prevail. Like, he will make a way for everybody. And the guys... And the guys keep doing what you're doing. Keep working hard. Because the guys do know our problem. Yes. We are always sending. Do you know Momo? Yes. We are always sending Momo. I know. If you take my phone right now, I owe them. Oh. I've been sending Momo. Oh. They don't like me. Oh. So you have, oh. have to give us American girls. Oh, I know. Yes. It's serious. It's serious. So I talk know. to us. Let us calm down. We are listening to you. <laughs> As for the guys, keep doing what you're doing. Like, I know Ghana will get better. We are in a great country. So it's, I believe we're going to get better. But don't just be going after girls just so you can send them Momo. It's not right. It's not right. If they don't like you for who you are, then you're wasting your time. Because somebody will appreciate you for just like being yourself. Okay. That's my opinion. You said something. We're about to close. We have to ask you. Mm -hmm. So how do we get that girl? What should we do? Honestly, you want to be honest? Yeah. Take your time. Don't rush it. And try to be who you are. Like, I feel like if you give them wrong impression that you're good, um, like, if you keep sending Momo and you get girls with Momo, they're always going to expect that. So and don't fall in love with them. Momo exactly, not, not you. Not and that's you. not fair. That's You don't even deserve that. You need somebody who loves you wholeheartedly. <laughs> she has said it so, Charlie. So, guys, make sure you listen to her and do whatever she's saying. And read books too, they will help you. Mm -hmm. But before you go, since you're a Ghanaian, yes. I want you to do something Ghanaian. Hey, Charlie! <laughs> I, I want to ask you just one simple question. If I'm not able to answer, mm -hmm. you will sing. Hey, no! Okay, oh, no, just four, five lines, mm. three lines. Any song, you know, any Ghanaian song you think when you came to Ghana, oh, this okay. song would be. Yeah, so let me ask you this question. <laughs> 
Fresh. Two x plus one equal to nine. What's x? Two x plus one equal to nine. What's x? Find Wait. x. Your x. Let's find your x. Divisible by. So wait, three x. That's three. Mm. Right. Wrong. Yeah, wrong. No. So they have to say it's just one, 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 Wait, one attempt. Is that six? Yeah, wrong. Right? <laughs> no, no, no. Can I have a pen and paper? Uh, this is going to be so easy. 2x plus 1 equal to 9. Equal to 9. So you group like terms. 1 will go to where the 9 is. So 9 oh, is 10. It's 5. It's not 5. So 2x equal to 8. You divide both sides by 2. two. So 2 into 8 is 4. So x is 4. You know, I was thinking about it wrong. <laughs> I okay. <laughs> so <laughs> any song you know. If you if you want me to play for you, I'll play for you. Mm. Then you sing that song. What song mm. do you want? Miss Bell. It has to be Miss Bell. Which song is it? I'll be sixteen. Hey, years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm of such a great fan of hers. Okay. okay. No, I need another question. This one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay so guys that brings us to the end of this wonderful interview so make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't like this video and leave a comment this december i've already told you we are going to bring the finest girls here in accra <laughs> and this is the first person we brought 99 more to go so then i'm going to sign out with a youtuber's um outro jasmine ama do you know it yes you watch it no Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you watch it? No, but I've seen like clips of here oh, yeah. and there. When That's you go and watch it. No problem. So, Jasmine, I'm going to say, follow your bliss. Now, you pass it your day. I love that. Follow your bliss. Now, the basic BI here. Follow your bliss. Now, then, then, mad. Follow your bliss. Charlie, that's just rich. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, I'm going to see you another time. Make sure you take care of yourself. And subscribe to Jasmine's channel. So, I'll put the link. In the description box. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you another time. Say bye. Bye. The kingdom come, that girl not from. Left a man to jump, but may come back ruling the seven seas. The seven seas.